Hello, my fellow friends, Digi Tiger here, and welcome to something new. Uh, Defense Grid, The Awakening. Right, I have actually played a small amount of this just to get into it. And it's. If you've ever played something like. um, Oh, what was it called? I think Tower Defense, where you just pop balloons, but that was like on a kid's mathematics game place. Because apparently it's mathematics. Anyway, The Awakening. I'm, yeah, I can see where I was. Right, I'm not going to bother redoing the tutorial because it's just, yeah, it's quite simple to learn. But I just started from here. Basically, you've got to protect these. Fair enough job, that. Now we must get the old communication center online to see what's coming our way. Let's see if we can't clean the place up. A bit of advice if they attack. Be merciless. They are. Oh, and this is absolutely essential. You must remember to, um... Uh... Hmm. Yes, he's, he forgets quite as easily. Simple. The, the aliens will come in from here and traverse around the path until they reach yeah it's quite empty to me. until they reach here which they will then steal a core which you can see in the top by the green bar in the top left do a loop and then back because if this just ends there they will loop and then come back round and try and escape with it and you basically you plant down towers to shoot the little bastards or flamethrower them the recon that's currently offline, I actually, and I think in the next one, it'll get started. Here they come. These are known as swarmers. They're the little dudes. Stop it. Come off it. Oh, shit. As, and as you kill them, you'll be gaining resources which you can use to buy more towers or upgrade them. Come on, blow them. Blow them. Don't let them get fucking close. Oh, I know. Gonna be gun one. Yes, you gotta survive so many waves. And yep, unless unless the fire burn there, the fire put put out on him. See, watch. He's just stolen a core, which now the core bar at the top has just got a yellow part in it, which means one's been stolen. Yeah, one's been stolen, but... Oh yeah, and the second type is a walker. They're more armoured, so they're stronger. As you kill the kill them, the cores will float back, hence the yellow. But if they get out, it, the yellow will then turn red, which means you've lost it. It doesn't matter what you do; you've you have lost it. Ah, I remember what I meant to tell you now. Some towers are better than others against certain alien types, in case you haven't noticed. Oh, and placement is quite important, also, of course. Terribly sorry about that. Yes, the inferno ones are perfect for swarms, hence like this. Hmm. And then there's the next set, which is the rhino, which are more a lot. They're basically they're just fast, strong, heavy armored ones. Do I put a gun or do I put an inferno? Put an inferno there, because then means that will keep it going, and then I can put a gun next to it. As you can see, they really take quite a. Thank you. They can take quite a beating. We're only halfway through this round. I mean, if I think if I press F, it speeds the game up slightly. Yeah, it does. 
that teaches you, I think it actually teaches you that in the next one, but it's quite handy, here we go. See, now we're getting into the nasty set. I might put a gun one down again. Hurry up and build it. Thank you. For some strange reason, though, the, t the towers will only go for ones that are ahead. For example, look, that gun isn't going to bother shooting them. And that's going to focus on him. However, they will mainly focus on ones. For example, these are moving forward. Well, these are moving forward. However, one that's got a core has run past them. It will then just watch them. However, there is a little trick to that. Who, for example, if I had one coming here, and I killed one that was around here, that one that's running here will then grab the core. Can be recycled. Tell me to reprocess them, and I can recover some of the resources. In the tower. The little bugger will grab the core that's already floating back and then start running with it. So you can essentially get him go basically getting killed but passing it down the line. Essentially being a pain in the bloody ass. Oh bloody hell we're getting As you can see, it only focuses on the bloody ones at the front, which is a pain in the arse if you want to, well, have them not do that. Yeah, they're not exactly good for ones at the front either. See now, the problem is, these big ones can take two each, hence why I've just got a lot of yellow now, and yeah. Now I've just got to make sure that these little these bastards get killed before they get escape. Yes, I do know I've been doing that for all this time. See double, and then my gun should come into play now. There you go. See now they're floating back, but luckily, not for any of them that are coming, well, these little buggers could easily run round and grow. They could grab these ones. Of course, as they float back, it's quite handy. Maybe you can upgrade in this round. No, you can't. See, he is bound to grab them there. Unless these... There you go, see, he's just... Oh! You don't see me now, they're focusing just on... Him. They will only focus on him now. Since this is the last wave, I'm safe. See, now they're, they, they're just taking ages to... Oh, that was... Really? I haven't quite guessed it. Whoa, my core bar just dropped loads. Luckily, they're basically... They're all hand-taken. Thank you. I was going to say, get the flame first started. The swarmers are quite weak, but the... How much did he have left? Shit, he's got quite a bit left. I need them to blast the shit out of him. Since they can kill these lot easily. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I mean, if he's dead, that, that's fine, but then we've got to get rid of him. That was close. We're not going to kill him by the time. Yeah, he's going to. We're going to have an escape. No, we've lost them. Ah, there it is. Now we can see them before they arrive. There you go. Now the two, the bar yellows have just changed to red because I've just lost two. But as long as you have one core left, you you survive. Now the recon bar at the top will now be useful. Solid victory. And again, only a bronze. You need all the cores you can get to be able to get gold and silver. For example, just these are just hard enough. Problem, you get more points the less towers you have. So it can be quite a pain in the ass. I won't bother 
doing this one because it's actually there's 15 waves same thing for the next one I don't know anything about this one because well I haven't done it yet Let it out. And exit and entrance. Oh, okay. Oh, hang on, I see. Yeah, to get the silver, so you need 24 cores. I didn't clearly have 24 cores. As I said, I'm just playing this as it's something different from what I normally play. And to be honest, I when out of school, I used to go on to the that maths gaming. I don't remember what it. I think it's maths is fun. Is what it was called. I honestly cannot remember, but it was a good site. <laughs> and yeah, I always used to play Tower Defense. I mean, I think they got Tower Defense three. They did on there. And well, I think I did all the levels on it, and it just started doing it where it was just throwing them all at me. But I had everything ma best stuff in the game. I had them maxed out. So, yeah, I spent a lot of time in lessons just playing it. So I should be able to do this quite simple. With that, you had like 50 lives, and you lost a life per balloon that escaped. Because it'd start from one end and work around to the other. This, however, it'll go from grab and back. Although that one I've just looked, the one I've got to do now, I think that clearly states it. They come in one end, grab grab the cores, and then out the out on a different end. So I have to focus on the end, well, mainly on the exit, to stop them from getting there. Uh, but yeah, I might just leave that for another recording another time. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Click the annotation over there for another video I've done. And like I always say, take care for now.